I'm climbing Offham Hill, which is a few miles north of Lewis. It's a hill that caused a lot of fuss in England in 1264. The Battle of Lewis was one of the two main battles of conflict known as the Second Barons' War, and the first was staged on the hills above Lewis. It was all the doings of a French-born noble, Simon de Montford. Now an English baron, he started an uprising against King Henry III. He and his cronies were increasingly worried about the king's personal style of government, particularly his inability to consult the nobles on any of his decisions, or indeed, take any sensible advice. Henry III was unpopular. He was extravagant and greedy. He refused to listen to his advisers and tended to favour his French relatives, heaping substantial amounts of power upon them. The English nobility, including the Earl of Leicester and brother-in-law to the King, Simon de Montfort, wished to restore the Magna Carta and force the King to surrender some of his power for the good of the nation. Initially, he agreed, but soon the king went back to his old ways of personal rule. The barons were furious and raised a force against the king and headed for Sussex. It was time the people made a stand. De Montford and his supporters decided to surprise the king and came up here on this hill that overlooks Lewis. De Montford and his baronal army were comprised mostly of inexperienced but enthusiastic followers, many from London. They may have lacked the numbers to match the king, but they had the element of surprise and the advantage of height. And if they played their cards right, they might just win. It was the 14th of May 1264. A royal outlooker had spotted Simon de Montford and his mob here on the top of Offham Hill. The king his army, Prince Edward, clambered out of their pyjamas quickly, eager to have a chance to duff up de Montford once and for all. Arrogant as ever, the king and his men were not at all worried about the tin pot army at the top of the hill. But they should have been. The opposing sides gathered and readied themselves for the slaughter that was now inevitable to take place that day. And so finally, I've reached the top of the hill and now we get the wonderful vantage view of Lewis Town. And it's here, you can see in this wonderful grassy meadow, but it's more or less as it was, as Simon de Montfort's divisions are here. He had three main groups of men and one held in reserve, facing the royal troops. The battle lines were drawn, tensions were high, nerves taut. Each eyeballed one another and death stared straight back. Suddenly, the Londoners, a division of de Montfort's, are scared. They're terrified. They're not used to battle. They're not used to war. They're ordinary people. They're merchants. They're tanners, blacksmiths, that sort of thing. They're scared. They can see the trained army of the royalists approaching. They suddenly broke ranks and they fled. Prince Edward sees this. In his inexperience, he takes a flank and he follows them. And he charges after the Londoners as they flee through the villages down past the Ouse. Many of them getting stuck in the bog and the marshes. And Prince Edward and his army are thrashing them, thrashing them to bits. No mercy. Bodies are strewn all over this place. This leaves the king open to easy attack. And seeing their moment, de Montfort brings his forces in and charges down the hill into the town. With their whatever weapons they had, they engage the enemy. The bloody battle continued all day with hundreds killed, many wounded and dying strewn along the slopes and around the town. King Henry realized he was virtually defeated and he made this retreat right the way back south of the town 
to the Priory, where they bolted all the doors and hid inside. Henry was captured, along with the returning Prince Edward, and held in the Priory, just here, until he finally admitted defeat. He wasn't killed, but Simon de Montford was now effectively in charge. And this, in the Priory grounds, is a rather beautiful sculpture, I think, of a, of a knight's helmet, which commemorates that very important battle, the Battle of Lewis.